large photographs on the upper level facing the ramp. The left photograph is of the steamboat Daisy Moor, which was built in 1884, rebuilt in 1896. This case features artifacts associated with the lake. Several model boats are on display. A German prisoner of war built the wooden Bismarck at the right of the case. During World War II, there were six known POW camps in the Lake of the Woods. Carl Holm made the tugboat on the left of the case. One of the sons built the model of the commercial fishing boat at the front of the case. This painting of the Grey Sand II was acquired by the museum in 2009. It was purchased from noted Canadian artist Michael French, who had been visiting Lake of the Woods a few years previous. In the fall of 1931, a most unique and elegant birthday gift was delivered to the Lake of the Woods summer home of Grace Ann and John Forlong. The gift, from John to his wife, was an 85-foot mahogany yacht built by the renowned Ditchburn Boat Works of Gravenhurst, Ontario. Christened the Grey Sand II, the yacht was considered the finest craft to be introduced to the Lake of the Woods. After a reported four and a half months under construction, and at an estimated cost of $75,000, the boat was completed. This is the second stateroom uh, of the Grey Sand II. This stateroom is one of the original staterooms of the Grey Sand II. Uh, this stateroom, of course, has its own private washroom and its own cupboards. Uh, this stateroom is, uh, as you see it now, is pretty much what the original stateroom looked like back in 1931. Steam navigation on the Lake of the Woods dates back to 1871. The first two known steam vessels were built in Fort Francis by the Canadian government and ran from the Rainy River to the northwest angle on the Lake of the Woods. Unfortunately, the names of these two boats are unknown. where I was born, whether in the hospital or if, I, if I'm a bush baby, which was typical, normal, long ago, I did. They didn't come to the hospital for... Uh, but I never did ask my parents. In those days, there overcoats, fedoras, and they did they'd stamp and they'd eat peanuts. There'd be peanut shells all over the place and, and oh, they hang from the rafters. They'd hang from the rafters, yelling and you know, just crazy. And then they had that back door to the to the uh, to the beer parlor. They had they had guys on the doors because people were sneaking in. My name is Bill Zorbach, and I'm here to talk about my family and the uh, their arrival in Kenora. My grandfather was uh, Ivan Zorbach, and known as John Zorbach in Kenora. Uh, he was born in the village of Borjelaki which was under the Austrian Empire at that time in the Crown Colony of Galicia. Mm -hmm. 